Success, Stevens here. Today I want to talk to you guys about learning two or more languages at the same time, simultaneously. Uh, it's very important, so I'll stick around. I want you guys to get some great information. And first of all, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you can get notified when I do release amazing videos for you guys. It's going to be on a more constant basis. If you're not already subscribed or following my Instagram and my Facebook groups and page, please go ahead and do that. So today I want to teach you guys um, if you can learn languages more than one at the same time. Should you? Do I? Stick around till the end because it's going to be an amazing episode. So, um, as you guys know, I already speak seven languages fluently or at a very proficient level, you know, because fluency is very um, generalized kind of subject. And I am learning my eighth language, which is Arabic, the Levantine dialect. So I am always in, you know, learning mode and always practicing my languages because as you guys know, language learning is not a one-time deal where you reach a certain level and then you give up. You always gotta constantly work on your languages, whether you are advanced or beginner, you, you have to constantly read, listen, write, hear. You gotta always use all your uh, language learning you know, skills and tools so you can maintain that level that you, 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 you reached. So what I wanna talk about is, if you are a beginner, in the language you choose. For example, let's use my example. I'm currently learning Arabic. I'm a little past the very, very beginner stage, but I am a novice, so I am still learning basic verbs, conjugations, how to you know read and write. My reading is more proficient than ever, but I'm still learning. So I would consider myself an intermediate beginner. So in my case, until I get to a certain intermediate advanced level, I will not um, start studying any other languages because I want to use all that energy into focusing on one language that I'm a beginner at and then still using some of my time to read more advanced you know, books and articles and listen to videos on the languages I do speak. So spend a few minutes you know, a day listening to Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, whatever the case may be, whatever languages you already know and continue to organize yourself where you're not too much in your intermediate languages but you have that you know dedication and still working on the language that you're currently learning so is it a good idea to learn two languages at the same time if you're starting from you know from scratch or learning both of them at the same time i would say no because you don't want to be beginner in too many languages, you're gonna confuse yourself. Unless you choose languages that are very different from each other, um, where you, let's say you decide to learn Mandarin, and then a month later you wanna start learning French. Because those languages are so different, you won't get confused, you won't get um, kind of bothered by how different they are, and you'll be able to organize them more. So what I recommend is if you really, really want to challenge yourself, don't choose Spanish and Portuguese because they overlap so much, you're going to be confused which is which. And if you're a beginner in both languages, it's going to be very hard for you to kind of distinguish them. So what I do recommend is if you have to and you really want to challenge yourself to learn second language or a third at the same time, you want them to be different language families or at least a little different that where you won't be confused. So if you want, you're learning Swedish and you want to learn Dutch, you know it's a borderline but if you're learning Russian and then you want to learn Hebrew and then you want to learn Japanese that's of a challenge but at least you have some sort of differentiation so as well as uh, organization if you organize you know morning time will be for this language evening time will be for that one you're more uh, you know used to kind of organizing the things so you'll be able to organize your day and organize the language for me, I like to focus all my energy on one language, get to a certain level, speak it, read it, write it at, you know, to a certain extent, and then I can start learning another language. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I challenge you to learn more than one language, whether it's simultaneously or one by one. 
you have my support, please comment on this video, share it with your friends, fo uh, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.